question. Many people wondering if it's all worth it anymore, especially when it comes to all those old electronic gadgets that you want to get rid of. If you're lucky, your community holds a regular recycling event, but many places don't do that. And that means it will cost you, and oftentimes the places taking in all that stuff are charging more money now. Why? Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Robson. I think it's, it's very important for the general public to know that recycling is not free. Does it plug in, have a keyboard or a screen? All those things have to go somewhere eventually. They go to places like Sunking Incorporated in Buffalo just off Broadway. People start to clean out their houses. People have stuff in their basement. Their wives are yelling at them to get rid of. Sunking works with municipality electronic recycling collectors. Vice President Adam Schein says while recycling should be free, that's just not the case, especially when it comes to getting rid of those old tube style TV and monitors. Unfortunately, what has happened over that time is there's been rising costs and free and convenient has not necessarily held up. Remember these? You probably still have one in your basement and they're one of the hardest pieces of technology to take apart. Shine says he hopes that these are gone within the next five years. There's such a limited number of CRT recyclers and every time one of them closes their doors, it increases the cost for those that remain. Those rising costs have put other electronic recycling facilities in a tough spot. We get probably three to five calls a day asking if we take them or can come pick them up and we're like, no. Buffalo Computer Recycling stopped accepting tube TVs two years ago. We used to get paid for them. And then we stopped getting paid for them and we're recycling them for free. But it was no longer cost effective because of all the labor involved in safely disposing of those relics. The good news is you could still find locations within your municipality that will still accept old TVs. But remember, they may come with a price. I think we're seeing a paradigm shift in our industry. Uh, just like recycling at your curb isn't free, electronics recycling unfortunately isn't free either. In Buffalo, Sean Robson, 7 Eyewitness News.